parents, let's talk about your child in sport. If your child is already playing some kind of sport or wanting to give sport a try, there are some key things you need to know in order to make sure that your child has a safe and successful sport experience. Getting involved in competitive sport can be a great choice for your child, but we all have to think of the child first and make sure their experience is a quality, fun sport experience. It doesn't matter if your child's dream is to make it big one day or simply to remain active for life. A quality sport experience is crucial to healthy child development. How do we ensure that? It starts with the right coach. You have to find a coach who follows the principles of healthy child development in their practices and games. Here are the five high five principles that you have to look for so that your child develops in a healthy way through sport. Principle one, is the coach a caring adult? A positive and supportive relationship with an adult helps children develop positive social skills, a strong self-esteem and positive peer interactions. A good coach will make a child feel safe, both physically and emotionally, and will be welcoming to everyone regardless of their diversity and uniqueness. Principle 2. Does the coach help the children make friends? Friends help children learn about a bigger world beyond their own neighborhood and family. Friends share in humor, offer support, and provide healthy criticism. Having friends in sport is what makes sport so much fun. Friends in sport can become friends for life. Principle three, does the coach allow for structured and unstructured play? Sport can get boring if we have to follow the same structured rules all the time. Kids learn through play and a good coach will provide some time at practices to allow the child to shape their own environment, use their imagination and develop a variety of sport skills through a variety of activities. Just two more principles to go. Principle four, a good coach needs to create opportunities for mastery, opportunities that make your child feel that they are getting better at something. They do this by making sure your child is participating at their own skill level and having success. A good coach will make sure the equipment is the proper size for your child and that the rules aren't too difficult to understand. A good coach makes sure the activity is at the right level so that your child knows they're getting better, even if it's a little bit at a time. The last principle is participation. Fun comes from doing. A good coach makes sure that your child is participating at their own comfort level. Children need to make choices, have a voice, and do things by and for themselves. A good coach will have activities planned so that your child is moving a lot, remaining interested, and is totally motivated to be there. But the coach is just one part of a great sport experience. The rest is up to you. You need to know how to identify and avoid being the pushy parent that can sometimes take the fun out of sport, hurt a child's healthy development, and can even negatively affect the relationship between you and your child. Here are a few tips on how you could avoid some sport parenting pitfalls. Tip number one, focus on what your child is learning instead of winning or losing. Sure, it's fun to motivate children to beat the other team, but if they lose the game, they may feel really bad about themselves. Instead, encourage them to practice for personal improvement and growth reasons. This way, your child will participate in sport because they are having fun and are passionate about the sport. And passion is a great driver for success. Tip number two, talk to your child about managing their emotions around winning and losing. Make every loss a teachable moment and see it as a gift to further their growth instead of a negative event. Ages 6 to 12 are when children are developing confidence and resilience. By turning a game loss into a teachable moment, you are making sure that they are learning how to deal with setbacks later on in life in a positive way. Tip number three, let the coach coach and the referees ref. Let your child see how you respect the leaders in sport, no matter how old the leaders are. Your child may be one of those leaders one day. Children tend to model what their parents do, so being a positive role model will help your child develop in a positive and healthier way. And one more thing, don't forget that an active start begins at home. Instead of over-scheduling your child in sport, think about how finding a few minutes for some play at home can go a long way. Playing what your child wants to play can be a wonderful family moment. 
even if you're not physically literate as a parent, why not give physical activity and sport a go? And try to get a little bit better today than yesterday. Playing and moving your body can be fun. It's not just your child who deserves a little more fun. You deserve a little more fun, too. You can learn more about High Five and healthy child development in sport and recreation at www.highfive.org. And if you want to make sure your child is becoming physically literate, isn't overtraining, or on a pathway to burning out in sport, and if it's important to your child, is on the proper road to excellence in sport, you should visit www.canadiansportforlife.ca.